Hi guys, so in last video, what we saw how we can exclude the unwanted or unnecessary file from getting dragged in Git. Okay, so now in this video, we will be seeing like how we can compare two different commit points. Okay, so before going that, we have one command git reflog. Okay, what it will do, it will show you all the commit points. Okay, like till now, from starting till the current state of your project, what and all commits has done, everything it will show you with the commit ID. Okay, so let me open the project where we were working here. Let me open git pass here. Okay, right, git reflog. Okay, see here, you can see here. It is showing all the commit ID, like till now, what and all commit we have done. Okay, so now let me check the difference. To see the difference between two commits ID, we have command. Okay, git diff commit ID one and commit ID two. So let me type here uh, git diff and commit ID one and commit ID two. Let's check some latest one. Okay, see. We'll copy this one and this one. We'll see between 68E and 42E. Okay. So git diff 68E, paste it and then copy 42E. Okay. Copy. Space and paste it. Correct. Oh, we added same comment points. That's what. 42 and 60. This one, right? Okay. Yeah. See here, what it is telling you have removed these files, uh, these lines from your file, which file a.txt, and you have added this. So, this is what the difference between these two commit points. So, between this commit point and this commit point, between this commit point, uh, between this commit point and this commit point, this is what the changes you have done. Okay, let me show you between the other commit points. Okay, so we'll try with this is already there. We'll try with this one. Okay, so between this and this what and all changes has done. Okay, so let me go here between 42E, between 42A and BCD, right? So between 42E and let me paste that BCD ID. Yeah see what it is telling between these two commit id you have removed these things okay the current state of file is only this one this one you have removed these two so these this this was in between this was in between and so i think this you have we have added there right so this is what the changes just the intention is like what is the the state between this and this what and all changes done so between this and this point this is what the changes has done this and all files uh, lines were deleted okay so like when you will see these things in console right it doesn't looks good it is not uh, that readable okay for that we have different tools in market okay currently source tree is getting very popular and almost majority of the company are using it then the other one is like kdip3 and one more is their performance tool so etc multiples are there okay so in this video we are going to learn about uh, kdip3 okay for source tree you can follow some videos in youtube means many videos are available okay so now to see anything in tool right right what you have to do so you have to use the same thing instead of date just you have to provide tool okay and press enter when you'll press it will last just press y see it is telling like currently this is not available in your system we have to download and install that so for that what i have done i have created one uh, page okay in this page i have given each and every details how you can install it so i'll be giving this uh, link in the description of this video you can go and and install this kd3 okay and all tools works in similar way if you know one tool you can easily work in any other tools also okay see here what i have done so here navigate to this okay this is what the just you click on this it will get uh, open from where you will be downloading 
So when you'll click on this, you'll get navigated to this screen. After clicking on download, the download will get started over here. Then click on this downloaded file. Then you will get prompt with this screen. Then you click on yes, then select language and everything I have given. Okay, step by step. Just you have to follow this. Okay, so let me go here, click on download. See, your download will start shortly. Yeah, see it started. So it is just 11 MB file, so it will get uh, downloaded very soon. One, yeah, keep this. Just click on this. So you'll get prompt with some video. Run this. Click on yes. Select English. Select I agree, click on next. It is telling like on which location you want. Let it be default only. Click on install button. Then I don't want to read the documentation. If you want, you can read it. Just click on finish. Now you are done with the installation. Okay, so this link I'll be providing you. Okay, you can easily, you'll able to install it easily without any problem. Okay, so now we have that now we can use like give the uh, git diff tool and between two commits id it will show in ui okay so now let me go and try this one okay press y to launch that kdf see it got launched over here right see what it is telling so you have re added these two lines so so see one place you are seeing like this other place you are seeing like this okay so so this is like in sequence so whatever id you have given is 42e okay so this 42e is the top one right so this one is showing in the left so whatever if you'll give in left it will come in left if you'll give in right it will come in right hand side okay so so this is what it is indicating this file and this is what it will in it is indicating the the previous one okay so from this one to this one what and all changes you have done you have added these two lines okay this is what the current state between these two commit points okay just close this you will automatically come out of this okay now let's go and see between between this uh, between this and this one okay so there is like one commit id in between so between this and this we'll see okay let me copy this between 42e and this one paste it okay press enter press y kd got launch see here what it is telling you have earlier you were not having these lines you have just added these lines okay and the sequence where from uh, in which way it is displaying first it is displaying this commit id details then it is displaying this commit id details there is the second one and this is the first one this is what the changes between these two files so generally in uh, real time no you will not be using this much but you will be using this tool kdiv tool while uh, resolving the conflicts and that resolving conflicts is like very important part and creating branch and you will be working in branch so everything means in, in next video i'll be talking about branching and all those things so that is very important and uh, you will be like uh, doing those things on day-to-day -day basis okay so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks a lot and if you have any doubt you can just uh, comment in the comment uh, in the comment box i'll be answering those okay that's it for this guys bye bye thank